بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم عندي سؤال الحديث أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من أحدث في أمرنا هذا ما ليس منه فهو رد من صحابيه ومن أخرجه نعم نعم يا حمزة عائشة لست صحابي من أخرجه مسلم لا بأس من يزيد who's going to give us more من أخرجه صحيحين يعني البخاري ومسلم الإمام طيب what about the hadith من عمل عملا ليس عليه أمرنا فهو رد whoever does the deed is not from Amara then it's rejected من صحابي هذا حديث ومن أخرجه عندك يا عبد الغني عندك يا خانة ما اسمك أنت نبيل أحسن الأسماء ما شاء الله عائشة نعم لكن من أخرجه أحسنت بارك الله فيك هذا الشاهد that hadith is in Muslim yesterday we, we spoke about عائشة ومن فضائل عائشة رضي الله عنها ونها أم المؤمنين أنها من أزواج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. She's the mother of believers. She's the wife of the Prophet. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم died. ورأسه بين وهو بين نحري وصحري. ما معنى هذا؟ رأسه بين نحري وصحري. ما معنى نحري؟ ما معنى نحري؟ غالب نحري. Where's the نحر يا؟ ما إن النكهة. الله سبحانه وتعالى يقول فصلي ربك وانحر وانحر has a, it indicates this way you slaughter from the place where you slaughter from نحر نعم هو الصحابة يا رسول الله لا تشرف رأسا لا تشرف يصيبك سهم من سهام القوم نحري دون نحرك هو الصحابة يقول أو ماذا نبي الله don't pick your head up is in the in the middle of the of the of the yom uhud. Let it be my neck before your neck. Abu Talha. Naam, Abu Talha. What's his name? That's a kunya, Abu Talha. What's his name? Zaid. Zaid. Naam. Tazawaja biman. Who's his wife? Woman. Um Sulaim. Um Sulaim. Tayyib. Um Sulaim is the mother of man. Nah. Um Sulaim is the mother of Anas ibn Malik. Tayyib, today we want to take this hadith. Wa na'akhud mimma fiha min fawa'id. Had a hadith fihi tahvir. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is warning from something. Warning from something. Nah. Whoever does a deed that our deen is not based upon, laysa alayhi amruna, our religion is not based on that deen, fahuwa raddun. The deed is not accepted. The deen, the deed, the amal is mardud. Naam. Raddun is what? You are master. The, the master, it could either convey the ism fa'il or it could be the ism of ul. For example, aqul qatl. What does qatl mean? Understood. Qatl is somebody died. Murder. Naam. For aqul huwa utuhima bil qatl. He was accused of qatl. That means he's killing. Naam. Wa naqul ma sha Allah azorhu hasala fihim qatl. If I say hasala fihim qatl, azorhu. What do you understand from qatl? Somebody got killed. So the word qatl, it could either mean to kill, or it could be mean what? That somebody got killed. It could be qatl or maqtul. But this, uh, this, this word here, rad, nah? it means mardud, ism maf'ud, that the deed is rejected. 
Uh, when, when, when we hear that the deed is rejected, this 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 yahmuna, this is important. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is warning about something. Is he warning about something that's in his time, or warning about something that they don't even know about? The Sahabas don't even know anything about this. Is there bid'ah in the time of the Prophet? Did they see bid'ah? Is there bid'ah in the time of the Prophet? No. Huh? No. no, there's no bid'ah. There's no bid'ah. He's warning about something they don't know about. It's not in existence. It's not in existence. Uh-uh. He's warning about something that's going to come. وَحَقًا قَدْ وَصَلًا It occurred. He's warning about something that occurred. It comes from the hadith, it's in Muslim, in the hadith of Abdullah bin Amr ibn As, إِنَّهُ لَمْ يَكُنْ نَبِيٍ قَبْلِ إِلَّا كَانَ حَقًّا عَلَيْهِ أَنْ يَدُلَّ أُمَّتَهُ عَلَى خَيْرِ مَا يَعْلَمُهُ لَهُمْ وَيُحَذِّرُهُمْ شَرَّ مَا يَعْلَمُهُ لَهُمْ This is the, the, this is the job of the Prophet. هذه وظيفته It hasn't been upon a Prophet. There has not been a Prophet sent before me. Except kind of happen alay, it was wajib upon him to show his ummah the best of the good that he knows for them, and to warn them from the worst of the evil that he knows for them. And this is his job. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this hadith is warning us not even about something that's in his time, something that's going to come. Man ya ish minkum fa sayara ikhtilafin. كثيرا فعليكم بسنتي وسنة الخلفاء الراشدين المهديين whoever lives from you whoever lives long enough من يعيش منكم whoever lives long enough he's, he's, he's warning about something that's not on his time فسيرى اختلافا كثيرا they're going to see a lot of differences in the deen نعم فعليكم بسنتي هو فاس ما سنة Nah, unfortunately, this matter of muhtafat or bid'ah, nah, is something that uh, a lot of people shun away and don't like to hear. Nah, wa iyaqum al muhtafat al umur, fa inna kull muhtafat bid'ah, wa kull bid'ah dalala, wa kull dalala. في النار من قال هذا؟ إيش هذا الشعر؟ as a poet as a as poet as poetry؟ أنا خطبة الحاج المهدي في المسؤول نعم وإياكم I warn you إياكم هو تحذير إياكم I warn you ومحتفات الأمور in newly invented matters وكل وكل محدثة بدعة every Newly invented thing is a bid'ah. Wa kullu bid'atin dalala. And every newly invented matter is dalala, is going astray. Wa kullu dalalatin finnar. Naam. Hasbi. Man qala hasbi ma ubali ma asma ba'daha. Man qala hafa fi ayu surah. What surah did we study? That the person heard an eye. What eye did they hear? And when he heard the ayat, he said, Hasbi, ma ubali, an la asma ghayraha. Surat al-Zalzala. What's the ayat that he heard? فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَهُ Whoever does an Adam's weight of good is going to see it, Yom Al-Qiyam. Whoever does an Adam's way of evil is going to say, he said, that's enough. I don't need to hear any more. I don't care if I don't hear anything else from the Quran. That's all I need to hear. Nah. But when we hear the likes of this hadith, كُلَّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَ وَكُلَّ ضَلَالَةٍ فِي النَّارِ Every bid'ah is, is going astray. You're not on a straight path. And every going astray is in the haifa. Hasbi, that's enough. I don't need to hear anything else to warn me against bid'ah. Nah. There's a hadith. يحصنهم بعض أهل الأم شيخ الألباني وأذن them they they um, they يحصن هذا الحديث they authenticate this hadith although some of them see the hadith is ضعيف. 
حديث أبي هريرة أنه كمز عن علي بن الحسين مرسل أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من حسن إسلام المرء تركه ما لا يعني From the goodness of the Islam of an individual, the, good, the goodness of his Islam is that he leaves alone that which doesn't concern him. He leaves it alone. What do we want to benefit from this hadith? We want to benefit from the opposite from it. If the goodness from his deen is to leave off what doesn't concern him, then also from the good from his deen is to embark on what concerns him. This is what we benefit from the hadith. Now, if you leave off what doesn't concern you, or you just leave it off, and your father, you don't do anything else? No, you didn't leave off what doesn't concern you, except, because you're advancing, you're busy with that which concerns you. This issue of muhtathatul umur, this issue of uh, newly invented matters and bid'ah is something that every Muslim it should concern them. Why? Because it's, it's concerning deeds. It's an issue that's connected to what? To deeds. And we went over this over or over in our classes here, alhamdulillah. But you're a believer. You believe in the hereafter and you need deeds. You're a believer and, and, and you need deeds and the deeds have two conditions. Uh-huh. Al-Ikhlas wa Mutaba'ah has to be sincerely for Allah and it has to be in accordance with the sunnah of our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah arsalahu. Allah arsalahu ilayna. Allah sent him to us. فَهُوَ الَّذِي قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلْمُ خُوذُوا عَنِّي مَنَاسِقَكُمْ لَأَنْ لِي لَا أَلْقَاكُمْ بَعَادَ الْعَامِ أَبَعْدَ عَامِ هَذَا Take from me the rights of Hajj. Perhaps I'm not going to see you all after this year. And Alhamdulillah. Oh, to Wafiya. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, perhaps I'm not going to see you after this year. And that's the year that he passed away. Take from me the rights of Hajj. Where are you going to take it from? Where are you going to take it out of my Hajj? Allah absalahu min azid haba shay. Sallu kama ra'itu muni. Salli. Pray as you have seen me pray. Naam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرُجُّ لِقَاءَ رَبِّي Whoever desires to meet his Lord, هَذَا كُلُّ مُسْلِمْ هَذَا شَأْنُ الْمُسْلِمْ Whoever desires to meet his Lord. That's, that, that's something that concerns every Muslim. He believes in the hereafter. نعم. أَرَأَيْتَ الَّذِي يُكَذِّبُ بِالدِّينَ Do you see the one that, you, that he rejects the deen? مَا مَعْنَ الدِّينَ يَا أَحْمَدُ Al-Hisab. My man, Al-Hisab. The reward and the punishment. There's no reward, there's no punishment. How do let you kadibu bidin? You're a Muslim, you think there's a reward. Yeah, My deeds are going to be accepted. I want the reward. And there's a punishment for doing bad deeds. Ah, you, you, we believe in that after. Mas'ala bid'a yahimmana. It's something that it concerns us. We want to make sure our deeds are correct. Nah, we want to make sure it's correct. Because you're going to wake up, you're going to walk far, you're going to go out your way, you're going to make wudu, you're going to travel. Can you imagine you travel and make hajj and you do it on bid'ah? Yes, yeah, subhanallah. Could you imagine saving up that money, traveling, the difficulty that you go through? Nah. It, it would have been ahwan if you went and you was jahil and you, 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 you just had to learn why you were there. Imagine you go there and you just do it. You do things that's not from Hajj. Yeah. So we have to understand. Bid'ah huwa fi al-qurba. Yashtarat hada. That somebody wants to become closer to Allah with it. Huwa yataqarrab. Huwa biqast at-taqarrab. He's doing these deeds to bring him closer to Allah. Yeah. So somebody, before the Salah, he takes out his Ud and his Atta and he puts it on before the Salah. He's not doing this expecting any Ajar. He just, he just wants to be clean. He might button up his thing before the Salah and, and do whatever he has to do. He might fix his Imama. He doesn't think there's a reward for it. That's just not the way he wants to pray. Nah. But Bid'ah is something you do. You want Allah to reward you for this thing. Qurba. Good deeds. 
نعم الله سبحانه وتعالى says فمن كان يرجو لقاء ربي whoever is designed to meet his Lord فليعمل عملا صالحا let him do good deeds this word عمل came two times فليعمل عملا you call that مفعول مطلق it's, the purpose of it is توكي فتقول ضربته ضربا شديدا كلمته كلاما طويلا نظرت إليه نظرا كذا جلست جلوسا كلمت كلاما أكلت أكلا it's, it's, to, it's, it's to emphasize and show توكيل about something Allah mentioned this word two times but adds a description to it فليعمل عملا صالحا فلنهم دو good actions now what's the amal salih ya abdu sabur what is what is a good deed it, 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 what is a good deed you feel good about it when, when you do it you feel good it's in the morning you eat you, you eat before you do it you feel good after you do it you put your oud on before you do it how do we know what a good deed is if it's done in mecca it's good if it's done somewhere else we don't know what's a good deed how do you judge it what's a good deed Imagine Allah did it. That's one. Man, I used to call you Abba Bila. Now, you have to be ikhlas. Imagine somebody did a good deed. He made wudu. And he made salah. And it's for other than Allah. He's bound down to a grave. How is this yaqa? In the land of Islam. How is this yaqa? Do Muslims make sujood to graves and ask the grave for help? So, this is what a good deed is. What, what is a good deed? Who has the right to determine what a good deed is? Is a good deed, it determines the place, how you feel when you did it, what your name is, where you come from. No, it has two conditions. Al-Ikhlas has to be sincerely for Allah. And it has to be in accordance with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came on. Right? So let's look at the first thing that can ruin your good deeds is shirk. Naam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam called, "Call Allah tabarak wa taala." Allah said, "This is what you call hadith Qudsi." Ana agna shurakai ani shirk. I'm the most any need of any partners. I don't need any part. I'm the most one not in need. And the agna shuraka. And the shuk. Man amila amalan. Ashraka fihi ma'i ghayri. Taraktuhu wa shuraka. Whoever does a deed. And he associated in this deed. With me something else. He worships something else. I've abandoned him. And I abandoned his deed. That's a double threat. Not it's not just like your deed is a mother dude. Your deed is your, your deed is, is is thrown away. Allah has abandoned you also. Allah has left you also. Nah. So a lack of ikhlas ruin your deen. Nah. Lack of ikhlas will ruin your deen. And this hadith we're going to read it today. It's a little long, but it's in the adam ikhlas in the affairs that we do. نعم هو عن ابي هريره رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ان اول الناس يقضى يوم القيامه عليه رجل استشهد فاوتي به فعرفه نعمه فعرفها the first people that the judgment is going to be put on them on the day of resurrection is a man he was killed in the battlefield Stushid was shaheed, killed in the battlefield. So he's brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. فَعَرَّفَهُ نِعَمَهُ فَعَرَّفَهَا For Allah reminds him of all the nitmas that he gave him. And he recognizes and he admits that this is the nitma that he had. فَقَالَ فَمَا عَمِلْتَ فِيهَا He said, what did you do with these nitmas that I gave you? قَالَ قَاتَلْتُ فِيك حَتَّ أُشْهِدْ أُسْتُشْهِدْتُ He said, I used this nitma, I fought and fought. For your sake, until I was killed. Qala kadabta. Allah said, you lied. Kadabta. Lakinna ka qatalta. 
لأن يقال جري فقد قيل. So now you fought just so it could say, so that people can say that this is a brave guy. And it has been said, you got your reward. فقد قيل. You got your reward. You want the people to praise you? You got your reward. نعم فقد قيل. ثم أمر بي ثم أمر به فصحب على وجهه حتى ألقي في النار. Then Allah gives a commandment. He's dragged on his face until he's thrown in the hellfire. Um, Taya, we discussed this before. Somebody's dragged on their face. Taya, what's 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 ahwan? What's what? Imagine somebody's dragged on on their buttocks, on on their behind, dragged on his back. Somebody dragged on their stomach. Somebody dragged on their chest. Somebody dragged on their face. I should, I should, What's what's worse? Naam ya Hamza. Drag on your face. Ya subhanallah. But what does this ayat mean? قَدْ أَخَذْنَاهُ مِنْ قَبُلْ نَذْكُرُهَا أَثَمًا يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَثَمًا يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ هو يَتَّقِي comes from taqwa يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ ما معنى هذا يا عمنا ما معنى هذا أين نمشي عندك يا أخانا كيف واحد يتقي بوجهه سوء العذاب من هذا إسحاق أنت معنا ما معنى هذا يتقي بوجهه عمار سمري يتقي بوجهه نعم يا عبد الغني قد أخذنا قد أخذنا لا بس معذور أنا أنسى كثيرا أم صالح نجيهم قد غرقوا بالأعمال الصالحة بالأعمال الصالحة نعم 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 that this 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 word يتقي if somebody hears يتقي they automatically think oh ما شاء الله it's good نعم نعم يا بلال عندما يقذف بالنار على وجهه ما معنى يتقي؟ ما معنى التقوى؟ ما اسمك يا اخانا؟ وات از محمد محمد ما معنى التقوى؟ لا لا من لغة ثانية جست ان عربيك تقوى بمعنى وقاية نعم من وقية وقاية بمعنى بروتكشن نقول الجندي يتقي بمدرسه نعم The soldier, he uses his bunker as a protection. Yattaki, he uses this as a protection. Yattaki, Yattaki means used as a protection. Qala Ali, إِذَا اشْتَدَّ الْبَأْسِ اِمْتَقَيْنَا بِرَسُولِ اللَّهِ If the war was thick, we used protection, the Messenger of Allah. When we got behind the Messenger of Allah, they were all fighting, but we got behind the Messenger of Allah. اِتَّقُوا بِهِ نعم So what does this mean? That's lugatan. When Allah says ittaqullah, what does ittaqullah mean? Make a protection between you and the punishment of Allah. With what? بِفِعْلِ الْمَعْمُورِ وَالتَّرْقِ الْمَحْذُورِ With doing what you're commanded and staying away from what you're prohibited, that's the only thing that's going to protect you from the punishment of Allah. But now we come back to this ayah. أَفَمَنْ يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ He uses his face to protect the hellfire from reaching on his arm so the hellfire won't reach his chest so the hellfire won't touch his leg yet tucky بِوَجْهِهِ He uses his face to protect himself. Why do we mention that? Because Allah says, the Prophet says, the prophet, uh, the prophet says here, فَصُحِبِ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ He's dragged on his face. He goes in the fa- in hellfire face first. So while he's falling first, first, face first, he uses his face to protect himself. That's all he has. Nah, that's all he has. That's Allah al-Afiyah. Allah explains you. أَنَّهُمْ يَسْقُطُونَ مُقَرَّنِينَ فِي النَّارِ They fall down. They're already chained up. Nah, that's Allah al-Afiyah. Until the second person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَرَجُلًا تَعَلَّمُ الْعِلْمِ 
وَعَلَّمَهُ وَقَرَأَ الْقُرْآنَ فَأُوتِيَ بِهِ فَأَرَّفَهُ نِعَمَهُ فَأَرَفَهَا And a man, he learned knowledge and he taught it and he read the Qur'an. Well, he was brought before Allah and Allah reminded him of the ni'mas that he gave him and he recognized it. فَقَالَ مَا عَفَّقْ مَا عَمَلْتَ فِيهَا What did you do in these ni'mas that I gave you? قَالَ تَعَلَمْتُ الْعِلْمِ وَعَلَّمْتُهُ I learned knowledge and I taught it. وَقَرَأْتُ فِيكْ الْقُرْآنِ And I read, for your sake, I read the Qur'an. قَالَ كَذَبْتَ He said, you lied. وَلَكِنَّكَ تَعَلَّمْتَ الْعِلْمِ لِيُقَالْ عَالِمْ You studied knowledge so it could be said that you're a scholar. نعم, it's Allah al-Ahmi. نعم. وَقَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ لِيُقَالْ هُوَ قَارِ And you read Qur'an, this could be said, oh, that's a reader there. That's one of the reciters there. نعم, that's why you read. نعم. فَقَدْ قِيلْ It's been said. Meaning, you got your reward. That's what you wanted praise? You got it. You wanted money? Whatever you wanted? You got it. نعم. فَأُمِرَ بِهِ فَصُحِبَ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ حَتَّى أُلْقِيَ فِي النَّارِ He's commanded with, he's dragged on his face until he's thrown in the hellfire. وَرَجُلٌ وَصَّعَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ Man, Allah gave him a lot of provisions. فَأَطَاهُ مِنْ أَصْنَافِ مَالِ المال كله. He gave him from all different kinds of wealth. نعم. فعرفه نعمه فعرفها. Allah reminded him of the nipmas that he gave him. He recognized it. فقال فما عملت فيها. What did you do with this nipma that I gave you? قال ما تردت من سبيل تحب أن ينفق فيها إلا أنفقت فيها لك. He said, I didn't leave any way. Any path that you like that money be spent in that path, except I spent the money in that path for your sake. I like that time, so you lied. Lakin nakafa'alta liyukal huwa jawad. You did that just so it could be said. He's generous. He's jawad. Wa qad qil. Fa qad qil. It's been said. Naam. Thumma umira bihi fa suhiba ala wajhihi thumma ulqiya finnar. He, he was command was given and he was dragged on his face until he was thrown in the hellfire. So the first thing that destroys your amal is what? Adam al ikhlas. Adam al ikhlas yufsid al amal. A lack of ikhlas that is sincerely for Allah, it destroys your deeds. It destroys your deeds. And in this hadith that we're reading now, يخبر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أن عدم المتابعة كذلك يفسد العمل هذا خلاصته. This is what we want to benefit from this hadith. That the lack of following the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم in deeds, this destroys your deeds. نعم. This destroys your deeds. ف Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ نعم. Everyone is in loss except the ones have, who believe and they have good deeds. But other than that, they're in loss. نعم. So the worshippers, they want to be far away from bid'ah because it's going to ruin their what? It's going to ruin their good deeds. What did we say about what khusran is, na'am. <coughs> and khusran huwa nuqsan, is in deficient, na'am. Lakin ahlul lugal al-arabiyya, this is in tafsir, yusama zad al-masir, libn al-jawzi, libn al-jawzi, zad al-masir, zad al-masir. Qala al-khusr, halaku ra'si al-mal aw naqsihi. That the Ratsma, your main money, your main thing that you have to benefit from is destroyed or is depleting. Well, in San, either Lam Yastat Mil, Nafsahu wa Umruhu, Fima Yujibulahu, Arib, Adaim, Bahua Fi Khusran, the Anna, the Anna, who Amulun. في حلاك نفسه وعمره وهما أكبر رأس مالي. نعم. Mankind, if he doesn't use his self, his nafs, his heart, his mind, 
and his age, his life, if he doesn't use this, and what necessitates benefit, he's going to get good out of it. If he doesn't use this to have good deeds, naam, for who are he He wasted himself. He's losing. And is this his good deeds? It's not going to be any benefit in it. Naam. Because the, the, the best thing that individual has is his mind, his intelligence, and his, and his, and his, his lifespan. That's what he has. Now, just imagine, somebody has a mahal, somebody has a store. Now, he has a store, he has uh, phones, he has computers, and he has things of this nature. And it was told to him, don't buy the phone from Sherikat Keda or Keda. Don't buy the phone from that company, the XYZ. The phones are no good. He's looking at that. The, the cover looks nice. Huh? It's, it's from Japan. It's from a good place. Listen, that phone is no good. Huh? No, okay, look, the cover looks nice. I look, I don't get it. It's cheap. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of it. He buys a whole bunch of it. Everything he sells, the people coming back, they want their money back. And he's losing. And he's losing. What smile? The, the money that he put on this is lost. Huh? So th- th- just imagine your salah, you lose out on it. Or on your hajj, you lose out on it. And there's other deeds that you do that has no origin whatsoever in Islam. Nah, no origin whatsoever in Islam. For نحن نريد أن يكون على ماذا على حذر من such a thing. This hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is warning against something. So when we practice Islam, we have to know what to stay away from. Can the nas yes aluna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anil khai kuntu as aluhu anil shar makhafata an yudrikini. The people would ask the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the good and I would ask them about the evil. So I would be away, stay away from it. Makhafata, I'm afraid that it would overcome me, it would reach me. Naam. من قال هذا يا أزهر من قال هذا هو سيد يا عمار يا عبد الغني نعم يا نبيل وذيف ابن يمان نعم وذيف ابن يمان so he used to ask about the evil من قال هذا يا رسول الله نحن محاسبون على ما نتكلم به قال ثقلتك أمك وهل يكب الناس على وجوههم إلا حصائد ألسنتهم Who said this? He said, oh, Muslim of Allah, are we going to be held accountable for what we say? He said, may your mother be bereaved of you. May your mother be bereaved of you. May you be saddened by your death. This is something that you say to somebody and they ask a question they should already know. Naam. He said, and what is it that turns the people upside down on their faces, Yawm al except the results of the things that they say on their tongue? Man qala hadhu ya azar. Ya abdul sabar, who said that? Ma'ad ibn Jabal. Ma'ad, man ajab? Hayat, hayat. Naam, Ma'ad ibn Jabal. Ma'ad ibn Jabal. So, this, this is the class that we want. This is the khalasa. This is what we want to benefit from this hadith. But you have to understand that, that the, the religion before us, the Jews and the Christians, ma afsad dinahum illa mithil hadi al bid'ah wal mahfathat. Nothing destroyed their deen more than these innovations. And understanding that deen comes from just whatever you want to do. Nah. Fa. هناك حديث هو في الصحيح وهو عند الأحمد أن يهوديا أتى عمر وقال إنكم تقرؤون آية لو نحن معشر اليهود نزلت علينا لاتخذناه عيدا قال أي آية قال اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتمنت عليكم نعمتي وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمْ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ Al-Yahud came to, the, to Umar ibn Khattab. He said, you Muslims, y'all are reading a verse from the Quran. If we knew what day this verse came down on us Jews, 
we would have taken that day Eid. I mean, they would have made it an Eid, a celebration, something that's Qurba, something that you worship Allah with. Just because they like it. Not because Allah legislated it. That's the point. So Allah said, what? What are you talking about? Today I have perfected for your religion and completed for you and perfected you for my ni'mah and I've chosen Islam for your religion. I know that the day this came down on and we don't take it as an Eid. That's not how our deen is. That's not how our deen is that we just love a day and we make it an Eid. Look at here in this country how many holidays that they have. We just passed Halloween. It's it's, it's a holiday. It's a, a day. Yeah, but fi shaytan. Look how many other flaky holidays they have. You know what Easter is? You ever you ever seen a, a rabbit give off eggs? You ever see? Uh, does, does rabbit give off eggs? No, no, what, what what are Easter eggs? How is the whole dunya built on an Eid? It's just flaky. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Uh -uh. Same thing with Thanksgiving, which is coming up. Do y'all you know what Thanksgiving is? That Thanksgiving is, is, is a day that only the Americans that came here and settled here really, really, really celebrate. They came here and the Native Americans that were here before them, the Native Americans, Hunud al-Humur, they fed them because when they came here, they became sick and they couldn't live, they couldn't handle the weather. So the Native Americans fed them turkey. But what did they end up doing? They ended up killing them all and taking their land. So what, what kind of holiday is this? Y'all are celebrating y'all? Y'all yeah, celebrating that? Yo, we, we fed y'all that? Y'all took our land afterwards. Finish the story. I'll eat you in the turkey. <laughs> Finish the whole story. You took the land, you took our turkeys, you grew the turkeys, <laughs> and you celebrate that day. Now, what about Christmas? You ever heard of somebody called Santa Claus? He flies on the deer. Listen, who rides a deer on, on the ground? You ever, you, ever, you ever nobody tame a deer? Oh, watch. You stand. Uh -uh. He rides a deer in the sky. And they teach their children that he comes down the chimney. Those are old houses. These houses, no more, no more chimneys. <laughs> and he puts gifts under the Christmas tree. I mean, what, what is the point? I mean, what's the point? You, you don't have anything to teach the people that's all good. Uh -uh. And supposedly, supposed to be the birthday of Isa ibn Maryam. But this is a bid'ah in Christianity. Uh -uh. Christmas has nothing to do with the religion of Christianity. Nothing. It was just put in there. Uh -uh. It was just put in there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions in His Quran... The bid'a of the Nasara. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا وَإِبْرَاهِيمًا وَجَعَلْنَا فِي ذُرِّيَّتِهِمَا النُّبُوَّ وَالْكِتَابِ We sent Nuh and we sent Ibrahim and we made in their offsprings prophethood. I mean, their, their, their offspring was prophets and they had books. Ma'am. فَمِنْهُمْ مُحْتَدْ from amongst them, they were guided. وَكَثِيرًا مِنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ A lot of their offspring were misguided. ثُمَّ قَفَّيْنَا عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ بِرُسُلِنَا And then we sent after them prophets. وَقَفَّيْنَا بِعِيسَى بِنِ مَرْيَمْ And we sent after them Isa ibn Maryam. وَآتَيْنَاهُ الْإِنْجِيلِ And we gave him the Injil. It's called the New Testament. وَجَعَلْنَا فِي قُلُوبِ الَّذِينَ اَتَّبَعُوهُ رَأْفَةً وَرَحْمَةً And we put in the hearts of the people that followed him رَعْفَةً And then he was خَشْيَةً بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَ اللَّهِ وَرَحْمَةً بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَ الْخَلْقِ Allah put in the hearts of the people that followed Isa 
Rafa, fear. That was between them and Allah. They feared Allah. Wa Rahma, and they had mercy between them and mankind. Allah says, Wa Rahbaniyatan ibtadi'uha ma katabnaha alayhi. As for them being monks, this Rahbaniyya ibtadi'uha, they invented this. Ma katabnaha alayhi. We did not legislate that. For them. Naam. Rahbaniya means that they leave off the dunya. Naam. They don't have no electricity. They don't do this. They don't do that. They don't accept this. They can't do that. That stuff that they do. Ibtadi'uha. Ma katabna alayhim. Illa bitigha aridwan Allah. Aridwan Allah. The Mufassirun. They differ in this. Illa bitigha aridwan Allah. It could mean that except what Allah legislated is just that they desire the face of Allah. Or what some of them say that it means they did this for no reason except desiring the face of Allah. They only did this and this is what bid'ah is. Bid'ah is somebody does a, re- a deed desiring a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With that that they invented in a religion. Naam. And burdened themselves. Alzamu ala anfusihim. Ma lam yujibuhullah. Naam. They committed themselves to do acts which Allah didn't put on them. With that. Fama ra'awha haqqa riayatiha. With that. They didn't even fulfill it like they were supposed to do it. Like they claimed they were supposed to do it. Naam. فَأَتَيْنَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ So we gave those who believe from amongst them their reward. وَكَثِيرٌ مِنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ And most of them, they are astray. So هذا الأمر المحتفات is something that we should all be aware of. So therefore, for example, you might go into some messages after the salah, they might say, الْفَاتِحَةِ And everybody says, الحمد لله رب العالمين Rahman Rahim, Maliki Al Medin, Yaqin Abudu. That's not that's not from Islam. No. Same thing with celebrating Al Isra with Mi'raj. No. Same thing with celebrating the Prophet's birthday. No. Again and again and again. We say if we're going to do anything, we're gonna do it right. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. So if we're gonna celebrate the Prophet's birthday, we're gonna do it the way the Prophet did it. Or we're gonna do it the way Abu Bakr did it. Oh, Umar or Uthman or Ali. If they didn't do it, then why why did, why they left that on? Are we can we worship Allah better than them? Is there a way that's better than them? Oh, let's just look in the books of Bukhari. He has four thousand chapters in his book. Let's look at the chapters. Is there a chapter how to celebrate Al Isra with Mi'raj? Is there a chapter how to how to celebrate the Prophet's birthday? All those chapters? Not in Bukhari. Not in Muslim, not in uh, At-Tirmidhi, and not even imagine, not in those books. I just look at the books of Tafsir with Ibn Kathir. He has Al-Bidaya when you high, he has books of, of history. Let's study how this thing is done so we can do it right. Nothing there. Nah. But this is something that we all have to try to stay from. Imagine coming Yawm al Nah. وَأَعْمَالِكْ هَبَاءً مَنْفُورًا All your deeds are just to scattered dust. There's nothing to them. It's wasted. Nah. Doesn't that fear give you fear? Doesn't that something you, you, you would dread? I would hate that to happen to me. So anybody logically would feel like that. And logically, it's just logically. So only worship Allah by that what he worshipped. By what she commanded us to worship him by. That which the prophet came for, you know. How many people have a prophet that came to them? You know how he dressed. They should have the best in the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What's the most beloved thing to the Messenger of Allah? The most beloved clothing. Al qamis. This is the most beloved thing to the Messenger of Allah. Mashallah. Who knows what Isa loved from the dress? Allah hafidha ma labisa Muhammad. Allah preserved what, uh, what what Muhammad was. We don't know exactly how he said. We don't, all them fine details are not there. 
عندي سؤال لو أن أحدكم إذا أتى أهله فقال اللهم جنبنا الشيطان وجنب الشيطان ما رزقتنا لو رزق بينهم والد لم يضره شيطان أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم Who is the Sahabi of this hadith? If one of you wanted to have relations with his wife and he said, Oh Allah, keep us far away from shaitan and keep shaitan away from what you provide us with. If he has a child, then shaitan won't touch him. Who narrated this hadith? Now they're saying ajib. Ta'rif Ibrahim. Man Sahabi had the hadith. Ibn Abbas, not even one of the Prophet's wives. Ibn Abbas, how old was Ibn Abbas when the Prophet died? Yeah, Rashad. Han Sagir. Han 13 years old. Where did he get this from? I mean, Allah preserved this? These private statements that a man says and he's about to have relations with his wife, it's preserved. So we have, we have a lot preserved from our Prophet. Nah. That he used to he used to wash himself when he went to the bathroom with water. Now, um, so many things now, um, that we have to hold on. So many sunnas, so many sunnas now, um, that we don't know about that we could worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by how the Prophet dressed. The Prophet kind of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kind of yantail jalisa araf He used to put his shoes on when he's sitting down. He put it on while he was standing. Now, who, how did Ibrahim put his shoes on? How did Musa put his shoes on? How did Isa put his shoes on? Allah hafidha hadha. Allah preserved hadha. Inna nahnu nazzal nazikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. We sent down the revelation and we preserved it. Now, the Prophet used to have a beard. He used to cut his mustache over his lip. Cut his mustache over his lip? This is preserved? Hey, well, Allah. Preserve and so many other sunnahs, so many things. Now, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the inna jami'an. I'll have that. Baki tanbi. Al masjid huwa baytullah. Look at all these squares here in, here in the masjid. This square here, Hakman, this square here, who squares this here? Sounds like a funny question, right? That square back there, number, square number 54. Whose is that there? It's Jimmy and Nas. Fala yaslah somebody to come and put hajjahs. That's my spot. That's my spot. These keys, my spot. That's mine. And this one, it's mine. And that one, mine. I the bait Allah. How the lie Jews free bait To put a key and put that and go sit over there. I'll sit over there. You want to spot? I'm sick. Cool. Huh? I'm sick, my cat. If you're not able to sit in that spot, let the stop go. If you're not able to sit there and hold it, somebody else who's able to sit and do that, he deserves the spot. Al awwal fil awwal. So, hada a sahaba can ahras alayna. The sahaba, the, the companions of the Messenger of Allah, they didn't do that. Al hajjiz majjiz. Al Hajjiz Bidah. Preserving the spot, that's my spot. I put them keys there, that's my spot. No, I don't do that, just sit there. No? Or sit next to it. No. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called it, Man Jalasa, Man Kama Min Majlisihi, Thumma Raja'a Ilehi, Fahua Ahakubi. Oh, Shalah, Kalas! I'm sick to sit there! Listen to this Adib Jahalib. من قام من مجلسه ثم رجع إليه فهو أحق به. Whoever stands up from his sitting place and he comes back to it, he has the most right to it. So somebody was sitting there for Maghrib, then he just sat right there on the side and he's going to come back to his place. He has the most right to that spot when he comes back to that spot. نعم يا رجال. يا شيخ قد يدخل اللي ما يعرفش ويرى مثلا الصف هذا هو القاضي. زي ما قال مثلا قد يكون كبير. That, that's why the prophet mentioned it. That's why they punched it. حتى يقول هو أحق بي. We just said no. We just said no. That's his spot. And China. 
ما في إشكال لا تشكل لا تستشكل ما في إشكال that's why the prophet mentioned it so now that one comes in here and he sees the place faldi we say لا هذا مكان عم علي هذا مكانه نعم مكانه نعم نعم فهمنا هذا يا إخوة فلا نحجز we don't we don't need any of that ثم اسمع إلى هذا I'm going to ask you one question. كان عندنا صاحب رحمه الله he he توفي. He was always in صف الأول. عبد الرحمن الغيان. He was always in صف الأول. And he always fast on Mondays and Thursdays. So one day they played a trick on him. It was time to break fast, and he would break his fast right in صف الأول because he always went صف الأول. So they put lahm ibl al sahn. They put camel meat on the plate, just where he was eating that. Uh-huh. So when you eat camel meat, you have to make wudu again. Uh-huh. So they all ate from other than that meat, and he ate that meat. So when the imam got up to give the iqama, the 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 muadzin, Allah Akbar, they said, "Ya Abu Rahman, do you like suffer Allah?" So yeah, of course. He said, now you have to go make.